Brian just told us that he thought you guys may have lost a war of attrition, that you were basically playing with six bodies, and when you had Ingram down and you lost Kuz, it became difficult to keep up. Do you agree? Uh, we're down bodies, you know, nevertheless. Um, other guys had to step up, and we weren't able to get the job done tonight. You had a triple-double. Why do you think you were able to affect the game as much as you did? The ball bounced my way. I tried to come in with energy, uh, made a couple shots. And like I said, guys made shots for their assists, and as far as rebounding, I tried to get to the right spot at the right time and, and go grab some boys for the bigs. I don't know if anybody told you, but you're only the second person in NBA history to have a triple-double with five different teams. Mark Jackson was the other one. What's that mean to you that you've been able to show that consistency throughout your career? Um, you know, besides the loss tonight, um, just doing it for five different teams is, I guess, a testament to my teammates and you know where I've been in my career as far as uh, taking care of my body, uh, being a professional, and just trying to be productive when I'm on the court. When you look at where this team is at at the moment, is there, is there a surprise, a shock with you, LeBron? Nothing we would have expected coming into this season. As you stand here, what's the feeling of, of shock, if there is such? No, what, what happened? I mean, we lost a couple games. Um, I think we got 18 left. Um, you know, well, my old teammates said the best, you know, anything's possible. So um, I'm optimistic. Um, just coming with the right mindset tomorrow. We have to continue to take it one game at a time. Obviously, it doesn't get easier, but at the end of the day, uh, that's why we play the game. Regardless of what happens in the final 18 games, what do you kind of expect from yourself and, and the team and how they approach kind of ev the everyday work, no matter where you guys are in the playoff push? Being professionals. You know, we want to come out here and represent you know, the name on the front and the back of our jerseys and take it one game at a time and go from there. Your defense tonight, your team defense, was it a little better than it was the other night in Phoenix? seemed like it to me, but you would know better. I mean, you know, give us a little bit of credit. I think we, we contested a couple more shots, but at the end of the day, we didn't get stops in the fourth quarter when it mattered the most. Um, I think due to the lack of communication, uh, it wasn't there in, in a couple of possessions. You know, they rolled down the, the lane for a dunk, uh, a couple wide open threes. So uh, it's a good team. You know, we give them credit. They play well. They move uh, well without the ball. They pass, play with each other. So uh, I don't want to take credit away from those guys. Um, but, you know, we, didn't, we came up short again today. You guys came in tonight and found out Brandon couldn't go, and then Kyle goes down in the fourth, I think. Um, it's just a story of, of the season. Has it just felt like one thing after another? It has. Um, I wish we'd have saved your locker room a long time ago, but um, just, just just didn't work out that way. Is that injury situation like really bizarre, like beyond anything you've experienced? Or yeah, I've never had um, this many injuries as far as different teammates in and out the lineups. Um, you know, Luke's you know, doing what he has to do with what he has. And um, like I said, I wish we would have saved our, our locker room here, the practice, you know, everywhere. It seemed like everyone's been hurt this year uh, for stretches of periods of time. Me and Zoe haven't played together four games in a row probably all year. So uh, when I was healthy, he's out, vice versa. So it's just uh, it's part of the season. It's, it's the sport that we play. It's part of injuries, a part of it. Uh, but I've never been a part of this many injuries, you know, in my 13 years with so many different guys.